everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Katie and today I will be sharing with you how I create lines when I create designs on Canva so are you ready let's go ahead and get started so I have three ways that I will be sharing with you on how you can create lines on Canva so the first step is for us to of course open any of the design templates so i will be opening up facebook just so it's clearer when you are looking at my screen and then first we go to elements so click the elements menu right here and then you will see all the elements but we are only after lines of course obviously we are gonna click this because this is the line that um, is very common that everyone knows um, about when you refer to lines and some of us when we encounter this we think it's super thick and we want to make it thinner so how do you do that exactly because if you drag it like that nothing happens and if you drag it like that it just becomes thicker now what you need to do is to make sure that you drag it inward so that the size becomes a lot smaller or a lot thinner for that matter and then you drag it to the side for it to become longer okay so again if you want it a lot thinner than what we have right now you drag it inwards and then you drag it to the sides now sometimes it's a little bit difficult to do that because you can't actually determine where to drag it so i would recommend for you to increase the magnification or the zoom all right in this case so it's more obvious where to drag it like that okay so that's the first one i'm just gonna park it right here and of course the next step would be for us to press the r um, this is actually a substitute for that. So press the R key on your keyboard. So then we'll make it smaller so that you can see it. Now we have a rectangle. Now what you can do here is to drag it towards the bottom. Okay. So if you do this, you will have a very thin line. Okay. That's just about a pixel if uh, I'm not mistaken. So that's the thinnest that the re rectangle can get already. I can't even drag it anymore. So <laughs> let me just um, select that and let me drag it. Okay. So it's super thin and you can also drag it to the side so that um, it will be in line with the first one that we created now this is um, a perfect option if you are currently working on worksheets because um, if you will be creating lines for um, your practice worksheets um, then this is perfect all right so then the next step would be for us to create or to use the grid so in the grid um, we will be choosing the square all right and then we will resize it okay and then we will drag it much like the second option that we chose now here you, you cannot actually make it thin like the second line that we created so here it's about five pixels right so about five of this to make up for this and that's because um you need to put something inside the grid so let me adjust that and i'm gonna teach you how you can put something inside so um in this method you can actually make things more interesting so we can open some of my files right here let's say we're gonna use some of the new um things that i have um yes i don't have a pattern here so let me go ahead and check there you go now you can actually put this inside this frame and you can adjust it as well if you want um we can we can no longer adjust it because it's just right smack in the middle but you can reposition if you want a more interesting pattern to show up or we can also do this right here there you go and then you can drag it some more then you will have a multicolored line. So really interesting. So if you want another line like that, of course, you have to go back to elements again, and then you open up a um, square file, and then you drag it towards the bottom. And of course, towards the top would be okay as well. And then we will choose another pattern. Let's say you want to have a texture. So we'll go to my folders again, and we're going to open some golden textures and i'm going to choose this one 
and then you just drop it right there and then you can make your line thin or you can make your line thick but it, for this tutorial we're actually um after the thin line so we were we are gonna use um the handles on top at the bottom or um the little circles at the side so that we can drag our lines all right so there you go that's how you can create you can create a lot of interesting options of course aside from gold you can also create rose gold silver glitters and that stuff and of course prints also you can use patterns and here you can also change the color if you want you just have to highlight the line and then click right here and then change the color as you wish or depending on your brand colors and if you want to use patterns and textures then the best option for you would actually be to use the grid so now let me just review the options the first one that we use is to um get the line in under the elements option and then the second one is to open up a rectangle and then drag it towards the bottom so that um, it will create the thinnest line possible that you can create on canva and then the third option would be to open the square grid and then select that and put that in your workspace and then um, adjust it accordingly as to the thickness that you want but the maximum or the minimum for that matter is actually five pixels so there that's how you can do it and there are a lot of options for you so just choose among the three whatever is easier for you or whatever is most convenient then use that I hope you enjoyed the lesson for today and I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions on what topics I should talk about the next time, please do let me know and I will um, make it a point to create a video for you. So that's it for today. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would appreciate if you do and you can also click the notification bell so that you will be prompted when a new video is up. Have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye now.